live stream today, uh, Saturday as opposed to Sunday, just kind of switching it up, trying to find a new way to work my schedule, Saturday, Sunday, Saturday, some weeks, Sundays. Uh, let me just do a quick A-B check. We're good to go. How's everybody doing today? I'm about to pull up to Albedo, we'll find out. Today we have a Harry Potter inspired dish, which was a special request from a viewer. Uh, we're going to be making pumpkin pasties. Oh, what's up, B? How you doing, buddy? Oh, I'm so glad you're here. See this smile? This, this is B smile. What's up, other Mrs. B? I know you're going to resist a Harry Potter stream. So we're going to be making other Mrs. B's suggestion, pumpkin pasties. I didn't know what the hell a pasty was. Apparently it's basically uh, an empanada. So we're making pumpkin empanadas. And the recipe that I was looking at, it has two different options. Where it has sweet or savory. I kind of wanted to do the savory one, but I had some pumpkin puree that I made last fall and froze. Yeah, empanadas. So I made this pumpkin puree last year. Uh, last year after we went to the pumpkin patch, you know, broke down the pumpkin and everything like that. So we're gonna be using this and doing the sweet version as opposed to the savory. The savory one sounded pretty cool. It had like sage and cheddar cheese, a bunch of weird shit like that. It was definitely different than any of the pumpkin dishes we normally have here. This one's gonna be more, uh, basically it's a pumpkin pie empanada. That's the only thing that we're really even gonna be making. The recipe called for using a pre-made pumpkin or pre-made pie dough. Let me just make some pie dough real quick. What up, Dick? All right, I left this drain. The recipe calls for a can of it. This is about a can, but it's fresh, so I don't have to worry about uh, you know, going out and buying it. But it is a little more liquidy, so I'll let it drain for a little while, especially after being frozen. All right. This, I just need to taste real quick. So it has cinnamon, nutmeg, sugar, and it's so pretty good. Cinnamon, nutmeg, sugar, and the pumpkin. That's really all this has, and a lot of butter. Pie dough, I need a little bit of flour. Not really measuring, just kind of going by eye. Who needs a measuring cup? How you guys doing today? What's up, Loud and Bearded Man? How you doing? Thanks for stopping in, buddy. What's going on? What's everybody got going on today? week back. Well, at least you had, still had Monday off. How'd the first week back go? Now, I'm breaking this butter up into smaller pieces so I can add it into here. I'm just going to put it on like a paddle attachment and just whip it together. It's going to need a little bit of ice water so I can get a little bit of ice water. And what is probably the world's smallest measuring cup? Oh, that's a measuring cup. That's a measuring cup. Oh, 
for skin cream? Asking cream? Skin cream? Oh, skin cream, gotcha. There you go. I know that one. I played that role. Not bad. water we want to try and keep everything pretty cold when it comes to the pie kind of when it comes to a pie dough because the butter in there is kind of just going to be folding and making layers and stuff like that which gives it some puff that and the egg gives it some puff so i got about a cup ish As much of a science that baking is, this one I usually don't really worry too much about. Kind of just go all by eye for pumpkin or for uh, pie dough. It's very very simple. It has very few ingredients. A little salt in there, a little sugar. So are we exfoliating your pores or something like that? Mr. Mr. Beardy, what you got you doing? How's the streak been going anyway? I haven't seen you out in a while. Have you, have you been getting back to work? started pretty good 90 plus all week and humid size up was a highlight oh is that the one that you were doing yesterday we we're talking about the one with the, the trailer and the, the floor or whatever yeah I hate it not bad but you still want to quit so you start doing a job that you really really start to like you know when you start streaming full-time when you got the, the uh, what's it called start streaming full-time when during quarantine and you realize, shit, I gotta actually go back to the real work. I don't wanna do it. I wanna keep on streaming. B would be good for a tech job, man. He really would. He knows enough about it. He's my tech guy. He's, the, he's helped me put together the computer that I'm building. Getting out there and getting sick. That too. That too. All right. I'm going to put this out on my board here. I'm just going to try and work it a little bit more. Try and get it flattened out. You have to be kind of, you don't want to work a pie dough too, too much because it has those chunks of butter in there. And we want those chunks of butter to stay chunks. Yeah, I hear you there, big. Feel the same way. Sitting in the kitchen now for nine, ten hours on hand. It kind of it, it wears on you after a while, you know. Just like construction. The idea deck is that you build it 
and hopefully be able to stream more. Hopefully this will become more of a part-time job and the other one will become less of a full-time job. Hey, what's up, Andrew? Just back from the shop. Well, welcome on in. How you doing today, bud? But yeah, Deck, the whole idea is that hopefully this will become more full-time eventually. And the computer, well, the computer is really going to be able to replace the console. But also, ideally, this will be more full-time and less, less part-time. One of these days. Can I, though? Can I, though? I can't. Well, that's the whole point, man. If I make more money doing this, then I won't have to worry about making money in the other place. Alright. That's about where I want it. Not exactly as sticky. Not exactly soft. Not exactly hard. It's kind of right where it wants to be. I'm going to flatten it out pretty good. So that I can cool it very, very quickly. I'm just going to like flash it in the freezer for five minutes, more or less. want everything to stay nice and cool and we'll roll it out and make our pumpkin empanadas or pumpkin pasties for our Harry Potter inspired cream. Is that the has nothing to do with just having the computer but the computer will help in the long term besides I want to get with the uh, Xbox Series X coming out and being as expensive as it's gonna be I don't want to be behind I'd rather just be able to have something upgradable it's more about the, uh, the console idea of it and then plus there's the benefits of having overlays for streams and all that sort of stuff, and upgradability, as opposed to buying a whole new system. That's where we're building the gaming PC. That ideally will be able to stream and play COD at the same time. Ideally. Hopefully it'll be an excuse, get in the computer. Hey, you know, I spent so much money on this. Uh, maybe I'm going to get on COD a little bit more. Frame drops? Yeah. Hopefully we'll be able to work it out, you know, through trial and error, finding out where it's going to find a sweet spot. I was watching Swag the other day and he was having major problems and he has a crazy computer set up that he just got like 16 cores and a bunch of fucking crazy shit. Yeah, exactly. If the PC is good enough, the stream should be fine. Even if I stream at 30 FPS and I can, uh, you know, work it out. Got a gaming laptop to run my stream. We'll play on PS4. Exactly.
Exactly. The doing it with a capture card makes it actually a lot easier from what I've seen. The only issue I saw was one guy, he had trouble with like chatting cables and stuff like that, but that may be a, a personal step sort of a problem. Get a little more water out of this. Oh, that's just sugar. Make the wife some coffee before she goes off. Yeah, definitely best with a capture card, man. It does work really, really well if you're going to stream from console with a capture card. Doors in the freezer, oven's at 350. We're just gonna roll out little empanadas and start making some pasties. Get some bounties to the cords. Our right, goddamn miss in my rec room, but worth it. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, exactly. It's just about kind of finding the right, the right thing from what I can tell. I've seen plenty of people stream from a gaming PC that was not as good as this other dude. And like you be, exactly. And I have no problems. But that's why we have our resident tech guy, Mr. B, who hopefully will help me when this time comes. <laughs> uh, this is the coffee, actually. Hydrate, hydrate, and hydrate. So I need like three sips. Yeah, I was watching the video. I'm just gonna kind of follow that video that you sent me there, be to put the whole thing together. And I was watching another video of his last night about actually setting it up when the, everything comes in. The monitor should be here today. Got three more things in yesterday. It's all coming together pretty quick. That's two. That's three. There's the mug. I'm bearded. I know it's a Harry Potter stream, but that's Yoda. The dish is the Harry Potter thing. Exactly. Do it and learn. R2D2. We've also got this guy, Darth Vader. We were looking at a, a chewy one, but I didn't find the right kind of setup. I like something like this, it's kind of cool. I saw an SR2D2 one that had the, uh, the head was a top. Once we make her coffee, then we'll get back to the pie. It'll be just enough time that it's been cooling down. Do I have an Ikea? I wish I did. The nearest Ikea is in Jacksonville. That's like three-ish hours. But we just got a desk yesterday too. Someone gave us a desk randomly for free. It was pretty cool. I said drink up for a ball, that's funny. Inappropriate. Hey, what up, Uni? No worries, man. Thanks for the lurk. Appreciate you, buddy. Your buddy Universal Soul over here just got himself a capture card and a chatling cable, so he'll be able to stream onto his PC from his Xbox, and we can all hear the banter between him and Deck. One day? Uh, yes, one day, Tiosho. Oh. Okay. Reason why the SS was upset like you had that cover? Yeah, it was crazy. Like, um, 
I came in the other day, and my wife said, hey, so there's this table that we have to pick up from my sister's house. Okay. So we go, and it turns out to be a perfect computer desk. Not brand new, but pretty much good. Very, very sturdy. And I was like, okay, cool. And it's a perfect, nice, small size. Because that's what I was looking for. And free. <laughs> yeah, the best part is it's free. It's my favorite price. Alright, so our dough got to cool down a good bit. Got to find something that I'm going to use to cut it with. Got other Mrs. B to install Hearthstone on her PC last night. Children's card game for the win. That's funny. Will do, man. Este dice el amigo que este, que este es bien. Got a little Harry Potter decoration there, a little golden snitch for the stream today. A little, little clock. There we go. Alright. We get this set up. Parchment paper's done, but luckily we have aluminum foil. Foil for the win. They filmed the whole load in your city? That's awesome, man. One of my favorite, favorite movies growing up. I remember actually being able to go and see them in the theater. I think all I got to see one, though. It was still an awesome experience. Everybody was out in there in their get-ups and everything. It was pretty cool. Alrighty. I need a rolling pin. This is possibly the heaviest rolling pin in the world. Solid marble. I tried before thinking, you know, hey, Pido needs to be cold. Maybe I can get this thing cold, right? Because this marble will stay cold and be everything like that. As soon as you take it out of the fridge, it starts sweating and sweating and sweating and it gets more dough on it than it is anything else. Oxford Duke coming to the library. Divinity School, New College Cloister. Awesome. Oh, the dining hall? Where's the dining hall? Christ Church? That's pretty cool. Did you see anybody walking by when you were when they were filming in your area? Kind of try and get a nice circle here again, cut it in half, make it a little more manageable, and we'll work it out. Gotta find a cup I'm gonna cut with, and be good to go. They offer tourists, that's pretty cool, man. Really like to see the castle that they use for Hogwarts, that'd be really, really cool. We went to Orlando late last year to go to Disney. Went through the Harry Potter world and all that sort of shit. It was, pretty, it was awesome. I wanted to try butterbeer, and then I found out there's no alcohol in butterbeer. 
But they were all getting, like, it seemed like they were getting a buzz on in the in movie. I was like, all right, let me try it. But no, it was very disappointing. No buzz. So I'll have to make it one day with a little bit of rum. I think they, they have, like, a butterscotch kind of a rum that you can use. That's mostly what butter beer is, butterscotch. From what I can tell when I looked up the recipe later. Okay, what are we gonna cut you with? I'll go with that. That sort of a thing. It's supposed to be about four inches, that's more like two. We'll make smaller empanadas, that's just fine. No. No, Chiquito no es Chiquito. Ah, está bien. All right, I'm gonna save my scraps over here. We're gonna rework them. I just kind of wanna, whenever you have scraps for like a puff pastry or a pie dough or anything like that, keep them in layers. This way, when we rework it together, every the butter still stays in layers and it gives you a good puff. These are kind of small, so I'm going to just kind of pat them down a good bit. You're good to go. The thing. My wife just said we have an empanada maker. I'm going to see what the size is. make small little pasties not a little bite size I was thinking about doing bite size ones anyway the other day so I'm just gonna put a little dollop of pumpkin in there this has everything in it it has its cinnamon nutmeg sugar a little bit of salt got some butter all the goodies We're just gonna fold it over. Kind of try and make sure that we're pushing everything towards the edges and stuff like that, but without going over. And we'll grab a fork and just kind of press down to give a little empanada sort of look. Even though it's not really an empanada, it's a it's a British thing, pasty. Pasties are a very different thing here in America, and you usually find them in like the porn industry, but. That's one right there. It's like a, a ravioli. Pasty, not pasty. Keep on flouring the fork because this is like a very, very gentle kind of a dough. And it will stick to the fork otherwise. It was trying to. It's going to be fun little things. I love pumpkin. It is definitely not the season for pumpkin. But that's okay. I love pumpkin all year round. I really want to try those savory ones one day. We'll do it possibly on stream. A little bit of cheese, some sage, all that goodness. Season's reason? Exactly. Yeah, butternut squash I think would be really good in this. Or anything like that. Acorn squash would be really nice too. This one's a little overfilled, but that's okay. We'll make it work.
Yeah, butternut squash, I think, would probably be the best substitute for this. Because it's already so naturally sweet, just like pumpkin is when you cook it down. If by chance you can't find pumpkin. See you later, baby. Bye, man, one. Then when the... some easy little shakes here. It'd be nice to have like an empanada press if the one that we have over there, the empanada press is good, but I'm gonna make it like that freaking big. That's gonna be all of my uh, filling there in one shot. Just gonna work this together right quick. Oh, sweet potato. That would be really nice. You are correct, sir. They have um, these purple sweet potatoes that my sister-in-law, she makes an empanada with, but like a, a Mexican empanada. And it is really good. It's very similar, actually. You are correct, sir. That would be a good substitute. Might actually like that a little bit better. I love sweet potato, man. I haven't had a sweet potato fry in so long. Exactly, sweet potato fries. Been a long, long time. So I'm just gonna let it rest over here real quick. We just worked it back together, but we're gonna let it rest because if we just moved it with the flour and everything like that, and if you were here for any of our other baking or pastry things, the more you work flour, the more gluten you're building. And the gluten is what makes it kind of elasticy. So to make it a nice soft dough, you let it rest for a little while. We all have other Mrs. B to thank for for this dish coming together because without her I would not have known what one to do. The suggestion in the suggestion box was a Harry Potter inspired dish. I'm not entirely sure who suggested it. It might have been B or it might have been other Mrs. B. But other Mrs. B did help come up with the idea. It was pumpkin pasties and one more suggestion I believe she had. I can't remember off the top of my head. But this seemed like a really easy one to do. Everything I looked up online when I was looking for Harry Potter ideas for a, for a dish, it was all butterbeer, 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 butterbeer. So that's a cool idea, but it's a lot of, oh, arachnid balls. I saw something about that. I didn't actually look at it. It seemed like it was going to be a little more difficult than this. I was going for, uh, since we're doing a Saturday stream, I was hoping for a, a quicker one like this one. Oh good, Uni. See you in a little bit, man. So I'm rolling and cutting until we're done here with all this dough. Weird having something around my neck. The last time I cooked with a necklace on, it was a silver necklace that my wife bought me a while ago. I was doing some races, so we were cooking outside, but we had, you know, convection oven and everything, all cooked up with electric. And son of a bitch, when I opened up that oven to pull out some bacon, or I don't remember what it was, just being near it, the silver started to heat up, and I was like, what the hell's going on? It felt a little burning around my neck. And I kept on doing it, kept on doing it, I finally realized, no shit, the silver is heating up and it's burning the shit out of me. Apologies if I curse a lot. Uh, I still have kitchen tongue. Been working too much lately. You should hear the stuff that we say in the restaurant. Well, I'm sure you can imagine if anybody's watched Gordon Ramsay.
continue with our pasties. Pasties. Pasties? That just makes me want to say pasties. With the double A. How did your stream go last night, other Mrs. B? Thought I saw that you were on when I was uh, at work. Oh, it was a quickie game? Gotcha. Oh, was that the one that B was talking about, the, the card game? How'd you like it? That's similar to the, uh, oh, the marble one. Okay, I gotcha. Forced you to learn Hearthstone? But do you like Hearthstone now? Once we're done with these, I'm going to put some egg wash on them. Play it some more. You just gotta get used to it. And if you like it, keep on playing it, yeah. Get used to it, and then we can all watch it have fun. So we're gonna put a little egg wash on this after we're done. Keep on listening for the door. See if FedEx comes. Waiting on that screen to come in. Got the monitor coming in today. And the egg wash right here is going to give us a little bit more of a browning and a little more shine on our pasties. Yeah, yeah, we are. B, B helped me get the parts together, you know, think about what, what we could do and everything like that. Gave me a couple full videos. And I ordered all the parts last week. Everything's coming together. Everything should be here. The only things that are back ordered right now are the case and the motherboard. But they'll be here in a couple weeks, very shortly, like 10, to, 10 days or ish. The case was shipped, it was just a uh, long shipping. And the motherboard was back ordered everywhere. But everything else is here. Ready to go. I want to try and do the Xbox with mouse and keyboard sometime, possibly later this week or this weekend. If I find time. Be interesting. I haven't played with mouse and keyboard in a very, very long time. See if you can get a PS4. They will be going on sale very shortly since the PS5s are coming out this year. You can get one at a really cheap price. Once that PS5 comes out, your PS4 is going to drop in price right there. You'll be able to get it for a real good deal.
PS2, man. I never played the PlayStation 2. I had uh, the original PlayStation, and then after that we switched to Xbox. I'm sure she'll say yes. I know she supports the sister wife. Exactly. Exactly what I was thinking. I know I was saying the same thing. If this PC winds up working out, I was like, well, I could just send the Xbox, but let's see if the PC works out first. No, somebody was asking about PlayStation. They were having the argument at work the other day, the difference with Xbox and PlayStation. I said PlayStation has better exclusives, but Xbox has better multiplayer and blah, blah, blah. This being Twitch, everyone knows this argument. Inspired to get us that you have to get them all. You know, I would believe that. Seriously, Sony and Microsoft, I believe they would do that shit. Be like, well, let's come out with a new system this year. We can have everybody fight over it, and we'll make a shit ton of money. Plan? Plan. Decent amount of these little pastries here. I'm, I'm surprised. I'm happy with this. It's coming out very nicely. Ooh, that one opened up on us. Glad we fixed it. We had to make so many empanadas at a different job that I had. We did like a school lunch program for a, a local college where they got them out of vending machines. But you know, you were getting very nice things out of your vending machine. Handmade empanadas, literally handmade. This is a, a throwback. Except then we were making thousands, as opposed to what this, maybe twenty I'll get. I might just stick with calling these things empanadas because I don't think I can actually say the real word without hearing it. Yeah, we can do this once again. Or I could do a, there was a pumpkin juice sort of a thing I thought was pretty cool too. And I really like to do the savory version of this for the next one if we do this one again. Hold on. Got a lot of flour on the phone. I can barely see chat anymore. I just need to hear it. Just have to watch Harry Potter again, listen for the word, look for it, and be good to go. And Goblet of Fire? It said it was in like every single one of them. It was on the, uh, it was on the trolley, on the train, it was everywhere, what I heard, or what I saw online. I was like, where does this show up? Because I was curious, you know, where is this? Uh-huh, two pumpkin pasties, 
It said it's been everywhere. It's been in almost every single one of them. Almost. So, B, that flying motorcycle, they have a ride. Hey, what's up, Nelly? How you doing? So, B, they have a ride for the, flo for the flying motorcycle. They have a ride in Orlando. It was so much fun. So, you get on this motorcycle. They have a regular car and they have a sidecar. And that thing takes off like a bat out of hell. It was a lot, a lot of fun. How you doing today, Nelly? Good to see you. Thanks for dropping in. Yeah, I'm doing great. Uh, just making some pumpkin pasties. Pasties, sorry, pasties. Damn it, that's been like the whole thing with this stream is but I can't say the word right. Yes, pasties, I know, pasties. Doing a Harry Potter inspired stream today. Everybody, uh, can we get a shout out for Nelly? She's an awesome cooking streamer as well. She does a lot of, I believe, island type of food. I mean, I've seen her stream a couple, a few times. It's very, very good. That's some really nice looking dishes. Gotta make room for one more. Something may have to use the other one. I guess I have to use the other one. Feels like a waste of a tray. Dude, I type for a living. That's funny. You show them on the Mrs. B. Maybe I can get one more out of this little bit of dough here. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, definitely give her a check. She's awesome cooking streamer. I know I've seen Kitchen Confidence in her stream before. Who has become a regular in our cooking streams around here. Mouse over to the second screen. All right, I got one more out of this. I'm gonna find room on that freaking tray. Forget this. I'm not. I'm not gonna be playing around that game. I'm gonna have to make some room. There's no way I'm gonna have a full half a sheet tray for two pasties. this little empanada together, our last one, and then we'll get to bacon. Alright, get rid of all this crap. Clean up slightly. Unfortunately, my producer isn't here today to help with the dishes. I have to do them all myself. <laughs> Him has to do his own dishes, right? Okay, this is a, this is a big deal. But at home, I do them every day. I 
Hasn't done dishes in a month. You know, one of the best things that you can have in your kitchen is one of these that I have right down here, which you can't see. Freaking dishwasher. I miss the restaurant dishwasher. Just close them. Minute and 45 seconds. Done. You don't have a dishwasher? We we always keep on forgetting to use ours. So it's like we don't even have it either. Figuring out some space here. Yeah, you have to kind of, you pretty much have to pre-wash your dishes to even use the dishwasher, right? So, it almost defeats the purpose. Hey, you know what we call those in the restaurant? We call them dishwashers. So you do have a dishwasher there, B. Tonight we have a, uh, a 16 and a 19 year old doing our dishes at the restaurant. That totally counts. All right, crack an egg here for our egg wash. Get another fork. Whip it up. I'm gonna add a little bit of water just to stretch it out and make it a little more smooth. We did that for so long when we ran a paper place, we were like, well, damn, I don't want to go buy more. Since I don't have a brush, I'm going to improvise a brush. like the little frilly side over here so it'll brush nice and evenly. This is the second time on stream that we've had to do this. It was what was the other one? I forgot what it was that we were doing and I had to brush something. We were baking. But yeah, no pastry brush in this house. And I don't know why. My wife was so embarrassed the other day. She was like, we have so much crap and we don't have a freaking pastry brush. And you had to do that on stream? Come on. Get it together, man. I do have a zester, yes. I actually have to bring it. I had to bring it to work. I was looking for it yesterday. I was like, God damn it, I forgot it at home. Ours at work broke clean in half. But you know what? This is actually working out pretty well. It's working almost like a sponge sort of a thing. So it's taking up all the excess with it and just leaving exactly the amount that I need on there. Hey, thank you for the for the follow there, Black Swiss. I know you're um, that's Nelly's husband slash mod, I believe. Welcome on in, man. Yeah, this is actually better than a brush. It really is. This is this is kind of nice. It's leaving me exactly how much I need on here. Good improv. Oh, thank you for the biddies. Thank you so much, Black Swiss. How'd you guys get the uh, the stream to work out that I, I saw you guys on? I think you were trying to do a, a joint chat thing or something on there. I 
I am the sous chef at the moment, Dick. Have a scene with all four of our streams. I'd like to see that. Oh, well, that worked out pretty great. Except for the one I missed. And it's disposable. You won't have to wash dishes. Into the oven we go. Up to the PCs are up and running. Yeah. That's a good idea. It's going to be fun, though. Oh, uh, yeah. It was really hard when we were having that mobile conversation on Discord uh, a couple weeks ago. Because, I mean, like, for me, Mrs. B was, like, barely a whisper. And you guys are heard really clearly. And then it would be cutting in and out. It, it, was, it was a mess on mobile. It was a bit of a mess. Oh, I know what it was, Black Swiss. You guys were doing like uh, an audio check, I think is what it was. But I remember hearing your voice on the stream. I'm all covered in flour now. Crazy day. Well, now we just gotta wait to sit back and wait for these things to bake. Probably put a timer. Start with seven, see what happens. Thank you. Thank you very much, Nelly. So what are you guys up to today? You have uh, a stream going on today, Nelly? Oh, no. Black pepper. No, don't fall. Hey, the store pick up some shrimp and crab? Yeah. Hopefully stream tonight. I'm assuming with shrimp and crab. How do you guys like to cook it? He's spoiled? Well, I mean, he has this lovely lady that's sitting there cooking his meals for him and make, and doing some streaming on the side. I mean, I can see the spoiled. The magic word is shrimp. Exactly. Yeah, shrimp is a thing around here. Other Mrs. B love shrimp. But Mrs. B and Puerto Rican B, not so big. You had it for dinner last night. Did you make some more sugar grits? What'd you make of it, Mrs. B? I want to know. I want to know. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Ooh, Alfredo. Did you make the sauce? Come on, did you make the sauce? Or was it a jar? Tell me the truth, don't lie. Ah, I knew it. She didn't save you any either? It's a hell of a shipping fee to send that sort of a thing, especially have it come fresh. Besides, you don't like shrimp, B. Saw this guy on Facebook doing stuff with crab and shrimp on, on french fries. That sounds good. Down here in uh, South Carolina, we do a lot of like what they call low country boils. So 
crab and shrimp just kind of get thrown in a pot with some sausage and uh, corn and stuff like that. A bunch of Old Bay and boiled up real good. Not sure if I'll do the fries, but honestly, I'll eat whatever Nelly really cooks. Yeah. I imagine. Streaming a game again. We'll be streaming a game on... Our gaming streams are Wednesdays and Fridays at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And our cooking streams are going to be switching from week to week, Saturday and Sunday. One week Saturday, one week Sunday. So I'm trying to find some, some free time. I haven't had a day off. I don't know how long. So it'll be Wednesday. You would have had some noodles. That, I believe. They went one way down there. Oh, she has plenty of Phoebe and Jay. That's funny. Yeah, no, it's not even the streaming. I, w I would stream every day if I could. But the actual work part, you know, 60 hours a week. That's the thing that gives me the, uh, I need some free time sort of part. Made a mean PB and J yesterday. Hell yeah. Hey, I got an invite. So... Part of the uh, bone in team as well. Uh, thankfully, Twitch you can have multiple teams. You have your main team. My, my main team is going to be Vibe Tribe, obviously, and then bone in is kind of like a secondary. Sometimes, okay. Let's just uh, get rid of that there. All right then, whatever that was. Thank you for the follow, Infectious Karma. I know that name too, I don't know where I, uh, where I saw you from, but thank you for the follow. They have stream teams, so like in the food and drink area, there's, um, there's Bone In, then there's Bunch of other, there's a bunch of other stream stream teams out there. Me and Puerto Rican B and other Mrs. B and Mrs. B have a unofficial, official, official unofficial stream team of the Vibe Tribe. It's kind of just a whole group of people that you know they get together and support each other. So you can in the Discord you post when you go live. Everybody has you know said invites their followers to come to the Discord. Um, so your followers become their followers. Everybody kind of you know support all the way around. Exactly, Vibe Tribe Discord right there. And our Vibe Tribe emote. Which if we get to 25 sub points, I can put it in as a, uh, a regular, I can put more emotes on. We have a, a couple in reserve at the moment. And Vibe Tribe is right now a tier three. We can drop that down for sure. Oh, so you're a bone-in streamer, Infectious Karma. I gotta check you out. I know I've, I must have seen you when I was browsing through food and drink or something like that, or I've seen you in somebody else's chat. Probably in either Cheese Pizza or Happy Chef, one of the bigger ones. Thanks for so much for stopping in, and thanks for dropping the follow, Infectious Karma. We are making pumpkin pasties today. Pasties, sorry, pasties. Pumpkin pasties, which is basically a pumpkin empanada. We have a, what's it called? Harry Potter inspired stream today, hence the flying snitch. Let's see how we're doing. Not even close to brown, but we got some time. Ah, uh, hot braided several times, I got you. Oh, 
Oh, you got a sub to Infectious Karma there, B. That's awesome. Ha. Ha cut? Damn it. I'm gonna have to look this up, for real. I can't wait to do a Vibe Tribe joint stream. People say late, they're doing our generation, I believe. Anymore, I think now, I don't even know what the hell they say anymore. I uh, watch a, a younger streamer, Swag, he does Call of Duty. Is it something they say, like, low key and this and the other? Like, what, what, what are we talking about? Low key for me is, you know, like, keep it on the low. They use it as a whole different thing. We use it as like a, well, really? Butchering the English language. Yeah, well, that's what we do. That's what we do best as a, a culture here in America. We butcher the English language. We were having a discussion yesterday at work about, about what's it called? The difference between, you know, American English and English English and Mexican Spanish, regular Spanish. Snazzing it up. I'm Americanizing it, okay? How's about that? I'm Americanizing your word. I just gotta start calling them ethanolics and say the hell with it. Yeah, the dialects, that's exactly what we were talking about. Somebody was saying, you know, there's no such thing as Mexican, it's just Spanish. But Mexican Spanish is so much different too, I mean, you know. I said, well, it is, there is Mexican, but it's just a dialect. It happens to be the dialect that I speak. It's just like Italy, region by region, there is a whole different language. There are many forms of English, sir. There are many forms of English. Hell, you can speak English in Belize, I believe. Nice! 10,000 points, hell yeah. So as you guys can see, there is a loyalty system up here. So you get points for posting, for following, for subbing, for all those sorts of good things. Yeah, I know a lot of English comes from German words from what I remember. So in case you guys have a Fancy for gambling. There is plenty of gambling you can do here. You can do it as well, so you can challenge somebody else with a certain amount of points that you can win. That sort of good stuff. The roulette or slots. Hell yeah, 500 points right there, man. Speak Google Spanish. So many times I translated something with my wife and said something from Google Translate in the beginning of a relationship. She was like, what are you trying to say? Like, I don't know, it says it in Google. Oof. He's coming for you there. You and he, he's coming for you. Ooh, I gotta fix that, Nelly. You should have a lot more points than that. What I remember, I think I gotta add you like a hundred thousand points. I know you're going for the top there, but we 
did have a huge donation from Nelly last time. And for some reason, the bot didn't give her the points. There we go. Now we fixed it. I don't know why the bot didn't do it. It's supposed to, but hey. Union Deco and edit. Hell yeah. You show them, Uni. Fix. It's because he's a mod and you're a, a VIP, right, Dick? Is that what it is? Ooh, they're starting to puff up. They're looking good. Hacks. <laughs> yeah, Dex Russian definitely came through for us. That's a lot of money right there. Thank you so much, Nelly. Wow. Thank you so, so much for that donation. That is extremely generous. Thank you so, so much. First place. Did you actually get first place? Did the bot actually do it last this time? Would you mind doing uh, extra minimum more points? I want to see it. I want to see if the bot actually did it. I got a iPad and this thing over here. Dang, didn't do it. Stupid bot. Thank you so much, Nelly. Oh, you're about to be number one now. Let's see, what's that? 25 times 5 is 125,000. Thank you so much there, Nelly. Thank you so, so much. That's really generous. Das Vidanya. Are you leaving, Dad? Ooh, they're looking good. I'm getting excited. They smell awesome. I love pie dough. What happened to B? Why are we asking if he's okay? What happened to B? You want points? There are several ways to get points. Bits, tips, subscriptions, follows, hosts. Host is a really easy way. You can do it for free. Uh, what else? <laughs> Nelly calling them out too. Dang. <laughs> uh, don't be salty, B. Yeah, but I gave you those 10,000 points back there, B. Or, I mean, deck. Sorry. That was last stream. But we fixed that. Oolah. Oh, from uh, Frozen. Yeah, there's a lot of mud around here, I think. No, no Frozen stuff around here. All right. So, they're coming together rather nicely. But they still need a little bit more time. 
This nigga been taking forever to dick. My bot is corrupt. It might be. Even if the bot doesn't like you, deck, I like you. So don't worry about the bot. Damn straight, uni. Worst people to look at. I've mostly been told I look like Shia LaBeouf. One ten thousand in the but you got your ten thousand back, homeboy. Oh my god, you do. <laughs> I did that. I went into a hotel one time and the lady talked to the person I was with and was like, that's Shia LaBeouf? No, no, it's not him. I just hope I look like Shia LaBeouf before the drugs. Right? It's not Nightbot. It's not Nightbot. Nightbot is, is banned from this channel, man. Actually, not, but Nightbot's not banned from this channel. Nightbot's banned from the uh, Discord because it didn't do shit. Didn't do anything for me. Nightbot's actually in here. Night, Nightbot's a mod sitting in here. He just has no powers or no anything to do anymore. I took Nightbot's all powers away, gave it all stream elements. He has no more commands, nothing. Dude, Nightbot... Nightbot's rough. You gotta definitely tweak his commands if you use them. Or not commands, I'm sorry, his uh, restrictions. From Elements to Lab. See, I was wondering about that actually, Uni. Switching from Stream Elements to Stream Labs because of the streaming thing. Streaming from PC. Oh, Streamlabs OBS? You have a hatred for Nightbot? Here, I'll do something just for you, okay? We'll click on Nightbot. We'll ban him. Yes. Nightbot's gone. You don't have to worry about him ever again, Deck. You'll never see him around here. I just banned him. Emote only chat. Oh, not my computer. Uh oh. B, can you do that in chat settings? Because I don't have my computer in front of me to do it. Oh, there you go. Get it. Thank you, sir. It'd be two minutes on the clock and go. It's emote only. Bots, 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 everybody. Hey. How is that able to type in a emote only chat? Weird. Rigged. Thanks for being in the system. Oh, so is Mrs. B. She's being in the system too. What the hell's going on? Unban as the stream ends. <laughs> oh, that's right. Mazda VIP is going to override. I got you. Oh, I do love that emote. I really do love this emote. That emote is uh, of Mr. Puerto Rican B over here. Made by a viewer. NLTMW. I had no idea this guy could do that, but it actually was really awesome. Awesome looking emote. I love that one. Got another minute left on the emote only mode. 60 seconds, go. Ooh. A couple of paces are opening up, but that's okay. Holy emotes deck. You have that many subscriptions? Oh, that's mostly, uh, what's his name? Syndicate. I think it's hard not to play with. Else has no idea what time it is. Woo, thank you for the biddy. Biddy, biddy, biddy. And 
Andrew's evil. Yo, you got that right. And we are at our two minutes. Maybe we have the computer so I can control this emo thing. Okay, he disabled it. That's fine. Woo, thank you for the five biddies, little Mrs. B. Thank you so much. Bitty, bitty, bitties. I was having trouble explaining bits to my wife the other day because I was trying to explain it in Spanish. I said, well, they're bits, so what would bits be in Spanish? Pedacitos? Little pieces? Yeah, 15 different subscriptions. That's crazy, Dex. That's awesome. Yeah, I want some other Mrs. B emotes to see. That'd be awesome. I like Mrs. B's emotes. And I'm waiting for some Universal Soul emotes, too. That's another one I want to see. Was that Daft, right? Yep, that's Daft emote. Alrighty, how are our pasties? Our pasties are golden and delicious. Pasties, sorry. Dang it, pasties. Mostly gifted. Yeah, I hear you. Oh, there was one thing that they said to do that I did not do on this, was put little slits on there. I didn't see a problem. Still comes out good. Nice and golden. Perfect little pasties. Mini pasties. Yeah, no, I had so many, so many gifted ones that expired recently. Because everybody loves you. You know, the more channels you hang out in, I mean, people just randomly give subs and stuff like that. And boom. Bunch of different subs everywhere. Now that I'm working full time again, I got no time to do this. No more gift subs. Alrighty. Who shall we raid? Let's take a look in food and drink and see who's on. There's so many different channels in food and drink that are like, what is it? What am I thinking? Like um, TV shows. I was very surprised. I think we'll raid Mrs. Ruby. Tier three, that's a strong one. Oh, who'd you tier three? I swear I remember that too. Market day for Katie. I know, I was just looking at Clara. I was like, she does Twitch things. I was very surprised. Ah, uh, Spalusi. I got a gift sub to Spalusi the other day. Just randomly, because I popped in her stream for about 10 seconds one time. Raid who, B? I'll follow your advice. Who is her? Clara? Sounds good to me. Make sure I'm doing that right. Clara, coffee. So definitely check out Clara. She's normally a food and drink streamer, but apparently she also does switch things. It's the first time I've seen this. Drop her a follow, give her some love. Hit her up with the emotes if you got them. Clara underscore. Dang. I gotta check it over here. Okay, spell coffee with a C. Did I spell that right? Clara Coffee. Yeah, so definitely check out Clara. She's an awesome 
food and beverage streamer, food and drink streamer. She apparently also does Twitch things, which is other Mrs. B specialty as well. So thanks everybody for being here. Thanks so much for coming and looking at our pasties, pasties, dang it. Hope everybody has a great day. Thank you all so much for being here. Give Clara some love. Um, drop the emotes in her chat if you have them. Give her some hype. And I'll see you all, I believe, Wednesday. Have a great day, everybody.